we are looking at song number two by Blur. Great power chord riff to play. Uh, not a whole lot to it, but there is a little bit of trickery as far as timing is concerned. Um, so let's look at the chords real quick. For the main riff, we've got F5, which is at frets 8 and 10. Then we've got E flat 5 power chord, which is at frets 6 and 8. And then A flat 5, which is at frets 11 and 13. Excuse me. B flat 5, which is at frets 13 and 15. And C5, which is at 15 and 17. So F5, fret 8 here. E flat 5, fret 6 on my first finger there. A flat 5, 11th fret. B flat 5, 13th fret. And C5 at the 15th fret. And of course, the the chord shape is the same for every single one. And I'm just using two string power chords. You can use a uh, three finger, but it does shift around a lot, so it's easier to manage the two fingers. So the ordering of those chords, um, as far as how many times you're going to play it, is gonna be twice on the F5, and then three times on the E flat five, and then two times on the A flat five, B flat five just once, it's a passing chord, and then C five five times. So usually what I'll have uh, my students do is to put that together without any of the little rakes, right? That's something that you kind of have to work in if you haven't done it before. If you have done it before, it'll probably feel pretty easy. Uh, so in time, that would be try to work in the rakes, which we'll talk about in a second, um, back at a slower tempo. Let's say we, we get this up to speed without the rakes. So I'm doing that all down, all down strokes. So the rakes are going to be in between F and E flat 5 and E flat five and A flat five. So you'll have this. There's just a quick little down up there. Um, and it's just kind of a, a consequence of motion, right? It, it's circumstantial. We just, you're in the groove, so your arm is moving, your hand is moving, the pick is crossing the strings. And you mute the strings with your left hand as you shift and we get that percussive sound. Always a nice thing to add in depending on the genre of music that you're playing and it definitely works here. Um, so again, that would be F5 twice. Then I'll let my fingers relax. Whoops, sorry. Rake the string down up real quick and then E flat 5 three times. slower it's super helpful you want to do that um, but things may sound a little off to you you know not just because of the tempo but just the groove is lost in a sense so um, be patient with that and allow um, yourself mentally and physically to kind of get everything aligned um, and don't try and just put it together with the snap of a finger because that always leads down a much longer road um, so, F5, right, E flat 5, and then the same thing here between E flat 5 and A flat 5. together. 
together and it doesn't really feel that bad. Um, if you're new to, I guess, faster strumming or uh, muting strings with your other fingers as you're playing power chords, um, feel free to um, message me about that. I'll be happy to talk about it. But um, it, it kind of happens naturally, honestly. If your hand is positioned the right way, meaning this finger is more or less straight up and down, but I'm only engaging the tip, and then my ring finger is rounded out, then you should kind of naturally mute the strings, and then my index finger is sitting right underneath that sixth string as well. Um, and you know, you practice that a little bit. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Get the strum pattern down, get the shifts down, and then you can kind of manipulate how your hand is shaped there. But one thing you want to make sure you don't do is this, where you curl this index finger up on the fingertip, and then it's just, you know, you feel like you're having to reach all crazy for it. Keep that wrist over, that arm in. Keep everything relaxed. This is more straight up and down. It's not barring. It's just pressing that fifth string down and then muting everything else. The only other part is uh, the tail end of the chorus. You jump to F5 at frets 1 and 3 here on string set 6 and 5. Five, fret four and six, same thing, eight down strokes. And D flat five at frets nine and eleven, same string set, uh, two measures or sixteen down strokes, sixteen eighth notes. mistaken um, so you can try to add that in but I'm not going to necessarily work on it right here it's just something that you will hear uh, towards the end of the re recording I believe so it's a nice little thing to add a little articulation to add anyways that's pretty much it guys it's the main riff over and over with no distortion then with distortion and then just that little bit from uh, F5 to A flat 5 to D flat 5 uh, have fun with that. Take your time with it. Like I said, put each piece together step by step. Don't try and just jump in and make it all happen because that's where people fall apart and just doesn't yield good results. But have fun with it and play loud. Rock and roll. Later. <laughs>